All right, loading up for the day, and I figured I would give a quick, quick review on this um, Milwaukee 20 to 22 degree framing nailer. It's a cordless nailer, of course, and um, gotten some questions about it, and um, I've had this thing for a few weeks now and really enjoyed shooting it. Um, so I figured I would give a quick rundown on how this thing works and um, my opinions on it. I have had the DeWalt framing nailer, the cordless, and this thing blows that thing out of the water, in my opinion. The things that I really, really like are that um, you can bump and fire this thing continuously until you kill the battery. There's no winding up. If you've ever used the DeWalt before, it winds and it makes all these noises, and it's not always ready to fire. It has to wind up. This one is like bam, bam, bam. It will fire. If you are have your finger on the trigger and you're bumping wood, it will fire. So I love that about it. Um, I really like... The uh, the ability to clear jams very easily. Um, this is the easiest gun I've ever had to de-jam. So, you know, with any framer, you're going to have jams now and then. And after putting a couple thousand nails through it now, I have had a couple jams. And they clear super quick. I mean, you just literally pull this slide back. And that nail, every time I've dealt with it, that nail just falls right out of there. Um, so I'm not having to get in there with needle nose pliers and all kinds of stuff. Um, sure, that could change. But for now, jams clear like in less than a minute. And I'm not having to use a lot of tools to, to get that thing unjammed. The other thing that I like is the rafter clip. It's a really simple thing, but it's um, yeah, a lot of these guys screw up the rafter clips. Um, this thing folds out of the way, so it's not in your way when you're not using it. When you are using it, it has at least two or two and a quarter of inches here, so you can hang it on a, on a rafter um, or a, a plate very easily. And you're not fighting trying to get it on there with some of these guns. It's only an inch and a half depth or an inch and three quarter. You're really having to wiggle it on there. Um, this one goes really, really easily and it gets out of your way. It does have the belt clip, which I would rarely use because it's heavy. Um, so that brings me into the things that I don't love quite as much, and um, that is the weight of it. It It is definitely heavier than the DeWalt gun. Um, it's heavier than any other battery gun that I've used in the past, but it's a trade-off, right? So for the amount of power it has and its ability to rapid fire, I like it. I think it's worth it um, dealing with the weight of it. The other thing that I don't love quite as much, and again, this is not an issue with the nailer, it's just the issue with the actual model that I bought. I should have not got the 20 to 20, 20 to 22 degree nailer, should have gotten the 30 degree nailer. They didn't have it in stock, and I was impatient, so I just picked this one up. But now um, I'm having to buy different boxes of nails, and they only come in plastic strip in my area. I, they may have it in paper strip online. I need to look at that. But that being said, you get less capacity in a plastic strip. You get about one and a half times as many nails in a paper strip driver. So um, I really prefer these paper strips. Uh, you get, again, more capacity. They do sell an, ex an extended capacity magazine, but um, I think that's going to probably bring this further out. And I don't know that I really want to deal with um, that long of a, a slide for a battery powered nailer. Um, so if I really, really like this thing and use it for a year and really, really want to keep running with it, I may end up ordering the 30 degree nailer as well. Um, the other thing that I don't love quite as much, um, and again, this is really petty overall, this gun is great, but you do have to turn it on. So the other guns I've used in the past, um, when the battery's in, you're good to go. And with this one, you have to turn it on. And then not only do you have to turn it on, you have to set it to the mode you want. And I always use the bump, tri bump, bump trigger or rapid fire mode. So not a huge deal, but when you're using it, you do have to remember to turn it on and switch it over to that mode. And, um, and you have to remember to turn it off at the end of the day or, you know, whenever you're done framing so that you don't run the battery down. Not again, not a super huge, huge deal, but, um, that's kind of the quick rundown of it. And, and all in all, big thumbs up for this gun. Really have enjoyed using it and, uh, we'll see how it holds up long term.